Welcome back to Gothic 3. Last time we were just about to clear out some wolves in the cave here, and I keep pressing the wrong button. I meant to crouch down and hit inventory so I can heal up. We have 37 healing potions. Uh, let's go with roast meat for now. Because there is not a bed here. Go ahead and pick up the plants I see along the way. Is that a... Yes, that is an enemy. You've just got to kind of uh, kite them and bluff them into not thinking you're going to attack. Of course, I'm being overly dramatic. There's really no scheme to things like that. Alright, wolves. Uh, I guess it wasn't wolves. Suspicious saber-tooth tiger. For some reason, I do not remember the saber-tooth tigers. Uh, did they change the fur or something? Is that why I don't remember them? <clears throat> Guess you've got to let them attack you once. Probably not a good idea to go uphill with this. There we go. 240 experience points. That's pretty good. We only have uh, about 6,000 left to level. You know, I might be able to take these things on uh, without kiting. We have... how many are in here? Two? You know, this is actually going surprisingly <coughs> surprisingly well for just button mashing. <coughs> and now it took a turn for the worse. <coughs> He's got to get me that one last time, you know. <coughs> And now he's enraged. There we go. More uh, reputation with Trellis. We want that. That's good stuff. Healing potions, always good. Gold goblet. Ah, gold goblet. Fire nettle, more morning dews. A lock pick, a ring, a lock pick, a stone nettle. I wonder what ring that was. Two magic roots and a, another fire Too nettle. Hard. And of course we can't pick that because everything we learned in Gothic 2 has been forgotten. Uh, wolf skin. Where is that Looking in the wrong place. Ring. Right here. Max life, en life energy plus 10. That's actually pretty good. An arrow, the one I shot earlier. And more plants. No, life energy plus 10. That's pretty good. Uh, definitely won't be wearing it for the rest of the game good, but, you know, good for right now when I only have one ring. I believe one of the uh, artifacts of Adanos. I believe that's the name of the one god. Okay, what did I anger this time? Goblins? <coughs> you know, that's extremely easy if you can actually hit them. Yeah, one of the rings, which is one of the artifacts, uh, gives you like plus 50 life energy. In the cave to the west, I found nothing but a pride of saber-toothed tigers. They seem to be pretty distraught. 
I don't think that they made this mess on the farm. Damn it! And me hoping this wouldn't get too complicated. Complicated? What do you mean? Lately, I have seen some rangers roaming about up in the northern woods. I wouldn't be surprised if those bastards were responsible for the devastation here. You think that rangers could have done this? Don't underestimate those people. They are a belligerent lot. When they show up in numbers, they can be a serious threat. What should I do? Rangers are often led by a druid. Find out if their druid gave the order for this mess here. And if he did, kill him. All right, that's pretty straightforward. Let's see, nobody else with a name here. What do we want to do? Let's quick save. Look in the journal under the uh, Namora quests. Let's see, that's Okara. What is Namora again? What is their symbol? Uh, that's Geldern. That's Trellis. Let's see, that's Cape Dunn. And, uh... Oh yeah, because we killed him. Probably should have done that before we killed him, but you know, I kind of wanted to get on with the let's play. Might as well head back to Thoris. We need 75 reputation to kind of uh, call this town completed and head on to Geldern. So, uh, I'm trying to think of what other quest we had going. We need to find the uh, apothecary or alchemist. The farm to the west has been devastated. No one is left alive there. I knew it. I can only hope that this is an isolated incident. Otherwise, we'll be dependent on the caravans, and that will be expensive for Trellis. Here is your pay. All right, real fast. Options, uh, audio, voice. I need to turn voice down. Just, just a bit. And is there anyone left in here? What is the, uh, what quest did we have? Do we only have one? Wait, that's not a. Uh, it's not trellis. Where is the trellis? So you destroy the orcs around the temple of trellis. All right, I can't really read the end of the quest name. So I don't know what to do here. Tell the leader of Namor about the rebel situation at the probably no, yeah I don't know. Let's see. I guess we need to go back and talk to them after we. Uh, well, we've been to Trellis. Alright, let's look for that guy. I know there's a couple quests in here I forgot about. Might as well sleep. Huh, what do we want to do here? Stop! Not one- Oh, come on. No! We do not know if we can trust you. Still need seven reputation points. 
Alright, what is there? Uh, the alchemist. You know what, let me just head back to, uh, back to that place. That, uh, rebel outpost up above the temple. At least I can turn in something there. And I really need to get that, uh, that double running skill or perk or whatever you want to call it. You can learn it from the druid uh, outside of Geldern. Those ripper beasts are still there. Looks like they've actually moved closer. Wow, odd lag spike there. No, and it lets you uh, run twice as long because running uses up less endurance. And this lag is really starting to annoy me. It's funny how they don't realize that there's kind of a path right up here to a... Uh, I guess this used to be a settlement and they know that it's been burned down. Ah, oh, nice cheesy sun glare effect. I like how you can like see it right here. It makes no sense, but okay, it's not like a an actual object, you know. And we didn't loot this chest. You know, once we get that resist disease perk, those uh, resist disease potions will be completely useless. Oh boy, a ladle. Let's see, veteran Steve, do you have the anything? Wood is burning well. No, we don't need to talk to Steve. Where's Charles? I'm sure you've still... Don't bother me. Oh, come on. Really? Man. Let's see. Hey, you. What are you doing sneaking around? Hey, everybody's got to get up and look my way. What do we have in here? Two lock picks, a bow. Might as well take it. Because nobody cares, you know? Too hard. And, uh, yeah. Before the next episode, I'll have to look up some stuff on the internet. Or if you're, uh, kind enough, you could post in the comments. Kind of give me some guidelines where to find the Runaway Alchemist. And, uh, generally what quests to do to get 75 rep with Trellis. Because, uh, I don't really have this stuff memorized, honestly. And tried Googling it, but... That didn't really work. Yeah, there's really not a huge... There's really not like a database on Gothic 3. Uh, most of the information I use comes from angry commenters on forums. And I guess I will just end the episode right here. I'm thinking that the alchemist is up this way. He's on one of the farms. We have not been to this farm. That's it, that's it. Now I remember. Okay, the farm that we went to before is right over there. I always get these things confused because, you know, the path looks like it's the one we came from. Coming down this way towards Trellis. But we came through that, uh, through those woods across the river. Alright, now that I have some clue of what to do, I, uh, feel more comfortable ending the episode. So yeah, thanks for watching. I always like Trellis from this angle. I don't know why. See you all next time.